Shalom, shalom, sisters. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, glory, and praises to the Most High God of Israel. Koholi Yahweh Hashem Yahweh And all praise to the Most High for putting it on a sister's spirit to promote me on the good works. You know, she asked me if I had any precepts on going into feeling unappreciated. So... All praise the most high. I searched some scriptures and I took some notes that I wanted to share with y'all. Lord willing, it's helpful through the spirit. And we'll get into it. Feel free to screenshot these notes if need be. And yeah. So ultimately, if you're feeling unappreciated, I believe that it's a spirit. First and foremost, it's a spirit. Because we know that as help meets yeah sometimes you know we're doing everything it seems like for everybody at least that's what say makes us think we're doing everything for everybody and sometimes people don't say thank you or they're not reciprocating what you may think they should be reciprocating and all that can lead to feeling unappreciated ultimately so first and foremost you know we gotta pray we gotta pray just like with every other spirit we gotta pray in the most high Pray that he gives us clarity and discernment on how to move in the situation. But it will be profitable to let that person know whether it's your head, you know, a sister, your mom, your dad, your cousin, whoever. Um, let that person know that, hey, I'm feeling appreciated. And it ease that feeling of being unappreciated. Of course, we got to pray without ceasing. But also this, Colossians chapter 3 and verse 23 through 25. And whatsoever ye do, do it heartily as to the Lord and not unto men, knowing that of the Lord ye shall receive the reward of the inheritance. For ye serve the Lord Christ. But he that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which he hath done. And there is no respect of persons. So whatever we do, we do it heartily unto the Lord. We should be doing everything that we do should be unto the lord of course we have our desire towards our husbands and we are commanded to serve our husbands but we gotta not get lost in that because us doing what we're supposed to do for our husbands is ultimately for the lord and we know that we don't want to mess up the inheritance that the most high has for us if we you know continue to be diligent in our craft diligent in what we're called to be and we'll get that reward but we got to keep in mind that we serve Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, first and foremost. Because the moment that we kind of lose track of that, then we start to feel like, dang, like, this person, you know, why am I doing this? This person don't even appreciate it. Why am I doing this? But it says right here, verse 25, again, that if we do wrong, so if we turn from doing the right thing, turn from helping others, then the Most High is going to get up with us. It's plain. There's no respect to persons. The most high isn't going to be like, oh, yeah, well, you know, that sister, she was doing everything she could up until, you know, she felt like she was unappreciated. And she just, you know, I said, forget it. I'm not going to do nothing else for this person because they don't appreciate me. No, the most high is going to get up with you. So we can't be moving in that kind of spirit because we will be receiving what we get. What we will get, <laughs> Salahi, y'all. We will get whatever we are putting out in our nation so even if we are indeed unappreciated don't in turn stop all your good works and righteousness in galatians 6 and 9 and 10 reads and let us not be weary in well-doing for in due season we shall reap if we faint not as we have therefore opportunity let us do good unto all men especially unto them who are the household of faith so do good still. Do good still. We can't be weary and well-doing. You know, just like I was saying, don't be like, forget this. I'm never doing anything again for this person just because they never say thank you or you feel unappreciated, whatever the case may be. Because in due season, you'll read. The most is going to take care of us. We got to make sure we're doing it with pure intentions and that we are truly yearning to do good unto all men, especially you know, if it's people in the truth, especially if it's people in the truth. And 
another point I want to bring out too is a lot of people express appreciation different ways like you may feel like you want people to say thank you you know thank you and oh I appreciate you so much for doing this this and that but you know that person might feel like the way they show appreciation is by um shoot helping you out with a task or something and but yeah still can't be weary and well doing you gotta wait it out thug it out realize what you're doing it for cause really all praise honor and glory is due to you how about your mouth shy we don't deserve any praise or you know being put up on a pedestal or any of that and I know some of the times, you know, yes, I'm not going to lie. It does feel good to, you know, hear, oh, you're doing, a, you know, a great job. And thank you so much for that and all that. But don't switch up the moment you don't get it. You know, have some endurance. Have some long suffering about ourselves. We got to do that. We got to have some integrity. This is Psalms chapter 25 and verse 21. Let integrity and uprightness preserve thee, for I wait on thee. <coughs> so I hear y'all <laughs> feeding a baby. But yeah, let integrity and uprightness preserve me, for I wait on thee. So we got to wait on the Lord, because the most I can easily change a person's heart to treat you or show you appreciation. You never know. That just goes into what I was saying earlier. Pray without ceasing. Prayer is so powerful, y'all. Prayer is so powerful. And a lot of times, you know, we got to kind of just learn how to tap out of that emotional side of us. We're no women. We're emotional creatures to begin with. So we got to just kind of like snap out of that sometimes for a second and just lean on Lord, not lean on your understanding. Because the whole time somebody could appreciate you, it's just you just not seeing it. Just because it's not verbal or physical, or whatever. So Proverbs twenty one and one reads: The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord, as the rivers of water; he turneth it whithersoever he will. Plain, just backing up what I said last time: The Lord can do anything. He can change anybody's spirit. He can put it on that person's spirit to start appreciating you more. You never know. In Jeremiah thirty two and seventeen: Ah, Lord God. Behold, thou hast made the heaven and the earth by thy great power and stretched out arm, and there is nothing too hard for thee. Ephesians 6 and 5. Servants, be obedient to them that are your masters according to the flesh, with fear and trembling, and singleness of your heart as unto Christ, not with eye service as men pleasers, but as servants of Christ, doing the will of God from the heart. With good will, doing service as to the Lord and not to men, knowing that whatsoever good thing any man doeth, the same shall he receive of the Lord, whether he be bond or free. So still, we must be obedient to our masters, and that's our husbands if we're married, our fathers if not, or if you have an elder. And we do this for the reward we will receive from the Lord. Plain. You know, we're not doing this, you know, to be men pleasers, to be seen in men. Oh, yeah, I'm just doing this so I can get praise and appreciation. No, that's not moving in the right spirit. We got to repent if that's in the spirit we're moving in. We should do things because we love our people. Because we know that doing good, you know, is not going to be in vain. The good wills and the good services that we do towards men the lord sees that the lord sees that he sees if we're doing it in a sincere spirit or we're just doing it just to get praise or appreciation and all that no i don't know so we got to check our spirit we got to self-examine and we got to shift our focus from needing to be appreciated to needing to do whatever we can to serve the most high through our good works unto others that's what it's all about 
and first Thessalonians 5 18 reads in everything give thanks for this is the will of the most high in Christ Yahweh Shai concerning you so thank and praise the most high through it all sisters it may be the will of the most high for you to go through the season so he can show you something or to test you and we just gotta vent to him for he cares that's first Peter 5 and 7 casting all your care upon him for he careth the for you so Vent to the Most High. The Most High knows everything. He knows everything. His His ways are not our ways. His thoughts are not our thoughts. So just trust in the Most High in this season. If you are feeling these feelings of being un unappreciated, and trust that the Most High is going to give you that expected end. He's not going to do anything to cast us down. Lord willing, he's going to do things to build us up in the spirit, to help us persevere, help us to be stronger, Lord willing, in the end. And this is Syrac 201, the classic. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. When we say we are come to serve the Lord, we are going to be tempted. It's just plain. You're going to be tempted to stop serving your husband because he don't say thank you. Maybe he does He grew up with no manners or maybe he just lately just stopped saying thank you whatever the case is but it's expected that we're going to be tempted in this truth so don't see it so carnally as you know this person doesn't appreciate me i do this and this i do everything for this person for nothing in return i get nothing i do everything no see it as you know the most high may be testing me to see if I will remain blameless and loving and merciful to this person despite their actions. And that's real love. Turning the other cheek. Just like Christ said. And pray that the spirit rules over your flesh in that time. We got to pray that the Most High, the Holy Spirit rules over our flesh. Because we not want to be given over to our flesh in that time. And then have to receive that wrong that we've put out from the lord and this is matthew chapter 5 verse 39 but i say unto you that ye resist not evil but whosoever shall smite thee on thy right cheek turn to him the other also in matthew 26 and 41 watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation the spirit indeed is willing but the flesh is weak so this flesh won't snap on somebody this flesh want to be like, you know what, forget this person. I'm gonna, psh, They can get nothing from me. No. We got to let the spirit rule over the flesh. And be praying, 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 praying that we enter not into temptation. Praying that the Most High has mercy on us. And praying that Satan doesn't rule over our vessels. In Romans 8 and 6 reads, For to be carnally minded is death. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. You have much more peace of mind when you realize that you're doing everything you are doing for the gratification of the Lord and not man. So you show genuine love also by continuing to be that amazing wife and mama and sister, whoever, which is a commandment. And this is Ephesians 4 and 1 through 3. I, therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, beseech you that ye walk worthy of the vocation wherewith ye are called and vocation just means job it just means job with all lowliness and meekness and with long suffering forbearing one another in love endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace so we got to walk in that job that vocation that we are called to do and that is a servant of the Most High and a help me. We're supposed to be meek and lowly and we don't always need to be praised for our good works. Yes, it feels good you know, that we're on the right track and we're doing good. But we shouldn't expect it so much to the point where if we don't get it, it's a problem. Our, our spirit is down, it's heavy, it's low. We don't want to do anything anymore for that person. Whatever the case is, we got to be humble. And wait for these words from Christ right here in Matthew 25 and 21. His Lord said unto him, well done, thou good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. So we got to be faithful over a few things. The most I called you to 
continue cooking for this person, whatever, you got to be faithful in that thing. Even if they don't appreciate it, just keep on doing it. Keep on being that light. Keep on being meek, humble, and doing good unto all men to the best of your ability. We got to move in love as Christ did and pray and strive to be better in the fruits of the Spirit, specifically long-suffering and love, and be diligent to keep the peace. This is Philippians chapter 3 and 8. Yeah, doubtless, and I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ, Yahweh my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and do count them but dung, that I may win Christ. So we do what we do, sisters, so that in the end, we may win Christ. So be willing to lose it all for Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Be willing to lose those, you know, compliments and appreciation posts and all that stuff. We got to be willing to put all that out of our mind. That's not even, you know, anything to be sweating about. So Lord willing, we can just stay focused, keep our minds right on a straight and narrow path. And Lord willing, we can just continue in good works. And Lord willing, this was helpful for sisters. It wasn't going to be long, but I love y'all so much. And keep enduring. And how about Shimmy Hawa Shai Brock a thumb? Shalom. Shalom, shalom, sisters. I just wanted to get this really quick. I was on Pinterest and I came across this. Really good stuff. So, seven things to do when you feel unappreciated is just really just elaborating just a little bit more on what i just went into so number one assess the situation when you start feeling unappreciated take a step back and look at the whole picture try to look at it as an insider and think hey did this person mean to make me feel like this typically people who love us and especially if we're in this truth we should not be making anybody feel unappreciated or feeling any type of way intentionally because that is off so definitely just gotta take yourself take your feelings out of the equation and think of it um outside of yourself number two is evaluate yourself could you be overthinking it you know, we know as women we tend to overthink sometimes and we can be a little sensitive so we just got to evaluate ourselves evaluate our spirit make sure that we're not moving contrary to what we're supposed to be doing like oh i feel unappreciated so let me take a step back let me you know stop doing this that and the third for this person we gotta evaluate ourselves use righteous judgment and treating others the way we want to be treated it makes us feel good it should make us feel good and it helps others to recognize their value in turn this recognition for themselves also helps them to show that to others. So that reminds me of Luke 6 and 31. And it reads, And as ye would that men should do to you, do ye also to them likewise. Huh. Number three, be open-minded. Be open-minded. So... Sometimes things don't go all the way that we plan them always. And we got to be sure to find the joy in things around us, even when we're disappointed or discouraged. And this is especially true for mothers. We always have little eyes watching our every move and hearing our word. And even if we're not mothers, just being sisters in this truth, there's always somebody watching us. Oh, it's another sister or a new sister that's new in the truth or somebody that just looks up to you, whatever. We're supposed to be that light. So we got to be open-minded. Okay, let me not move in a wicked spirit of not wanting to do anything or do that person bad because of this, this, and that. No. We got to find the good in every situation. We got to continue to strive to be that light. And not only that, because others are watching, because the Most High is watching. Number four is perspective is key. So... It seems trivial to want recognition, but it's true. It's bred in our flesh to want to feel appreciation, to feel valued as a person. But instead of creating and then dwelling on it, take the time to invest in someone else. So it's basically just practicing treating others how you want to be treated. So if you want to be appreciated, treat that person with extra appreciation. 
if you want to be showered with oh i appreciate you i love you so much da, 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 whatever it is give that to that person number five talk it out like i said previously in the video talk it out let that person know that you've been offended you feel offended you feel unappreciated because i mean people are not mind readers they're not mind readers if you're just sitting there harboring like oh they don't appreciate me the whole time they think everything's fine or they feel like they do appreciate you i mean you're just overthinking it then you're just causing contention for no reason within yourself and six pray pray without ceasing pray without ceasing you need to ask for clarity from me how about shamir i'll shy first and foremost just so you know that hey i'm not over exaggerating i'm not overthinking i'm still doing what i'm supposed to do according to how about shamir i'll shy according to my duties let the most high handle the rest leave it in the lord's hands seven read your bible when you feel lonely feel discouraged you're feeling like there's a spirit hopping on you whatever it is Read your Bible. Occupy your mind within the scriptures. Occupy your mind with the meditation of the law, statute, commandments, all these good, good accounts in the scriptures that we're going to meditate on, being lowly and humble and meek and loving and long-suffering, all the fruits of the Spirit. Read your Bible. Read your Bible. Whenever you're feeling any kind of spirit, you got to read our Bible. We got to pray and even fast on it if need be. But kind of, I just want to bring that out to y'all. A little one that was helpful. And shalom.